how was the 2021 Indy 500? It was one of the first big events back in attend with fans back in attendance after the start of COVID. And then um, Elio Castroneves wins his fourth 500 that year. I went back and I, I listened to that call recently, and I, I thought you did an awesome job of capturing the excitement without stepping on the historic moment as well. We always uh, we always get reminded uh, by our producers and our bosses to you know uh, in TV terms it's called laying out, which means stop talking. Yeah, and and listen to the actual natural environment and the natural sound uh, that is occurring. And when Elio won and that beautiful fence climb and then everything else that transpired after that, including. Mario Andretti coming out and, and giving him a hug and a kiss on the head. It was like he was, you know, anointed from that point on. Um, it was beautiful. But before Elio won, you know, come back to the beginning uh, of the race, before the green flag flew, you know, there were fans back in the stands, albeit to a limited number. Right. But when, when, they come, when they're coming to the green, you know, it's incumbent upon me to try and say something half what sen half sensible and intelligent that tries to give the viewers wherever they're watching around the world some semblance of relevance and, and something appropriate for the time. And it just, some, I don't plan those words. I, I, I like them to come to me in the moment. And just seeing the, the people back in the stands that came to me in the moment, I, and I remember saying, the soul is back at the speedway meaning the fans, because the juxtaposition was the year before where for the first time in the history of the race, we had nobody there, no fans allowed in the stands. And it was the most empty feeling, empty and eerie feeling. So then to fast forward to 21, it really did feel like the soul was back at the speedway and, and the race, we've experienced it. We know the race isn't the same when the fans aren't there. So that was, that was, a, huge, that was a huge moment, you know, to, to come back to the speedway with the people there. Is that, would you consider that your most memorable call, that combination of, of having 150,000 people back at the Speedway paired with uh, being part of history for, for Elio's first, uh, f fourth win? Yeah, I've never been asked that before. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd, I'd go with you and say, yeah. Yeah, just because of the significance of it. It was the largest gathering um, post-pandemic. Um, anywhere in the world and it was it was it was pretty amazing and then the cherry on top was elio winning a fourth and right. joining that club and then i'm pretty sure it was the date the next day or it was in the coming days or weeks after that there was a photo taken of of the four so aj foyt alan Cecenia, rick mears and elio castro neves and within a matter of months al senior was gone and so it was just that piece of history and that those four members of the four time club, they were, they all happened to be there to see Elio win, which made it even more significant sure. uh, and beautiful. Um, so yeah, uh, I, yeah, I'd go with that. that. That was the most special for sure.